Hi, right, welcome to Autodesk Inventor. In this video, we're just going to get kind of a, a basic feel for the program, where things are, how to set up projects, and some uh, settings that you should probably change uh, to make it work a little bit easier. So let's do that first. So let's go to Tools, Application Options. And then under Sketch, come down and make sure that Edit Dimension when created is turned on. <coughs> Make sure that auto project edges for sketch creation and edit, and auto, auto project part origin on sketch create. Make sure all three of those are turned on. Then under part, go ahead and say no new sketch. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then say okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and go to new. <clears throat> and in Inventor, there's four different file types. You have these IPTs for sheet metal and standard. Those are your part files. That's where you actually make your part. You have these IA, IAM files, the standard and Waldman for assemblies. We have IDW for drawings and an IPN for presentation. So that's like exploded views. So usually the workflow is that you make a part you put it into assembly, you take that assembly, put it into an exploded view to make the exploded view, then you go you open a drawing, and you put the parts, the assemblies, and the exploded views all into that drawing. <coughs> and again, containing all of these is a project. So down here where it says projects, if we click on that, you can see I've got a lot of different projects here. So I, if I pick one of these and double click on it, and hit done. And if I go up to open, it's going to switch me right to that project. Same thing if I go down here and I pick a project here, it switches me to that project. <clears throat> so if I'm going to new, I want to create a new project for something. So I want to say new project. The vault is if you're working at a place um, where you're sharing files back and forth. Since we're not doing that here, we're going to do a single user project next. Now we're going to give it a project name. I'm going to call this demo1. And you can see the the path automatically goes into my documents, inventor, then a folder called whatever you named it. Um, so you, if you want it to be a different place you could click here, go somewhere else and make a new folder. I'm just going to leave it here for now and hit finish and then say OK. It's going to make that project and then double click on it to activate it and hit done. And you should see the name of your project down here. So now <clears throat> that's the basics of getting started. If I go into st uh, standard part, say OK. It's going to take a second to load up. And it's loading it in. So now I have my ribbon across the top with my tabs. This over here is the browser and it's going to show me a history of what I do on my drawing. And then this is the drawing area where I can see it. If I hit F6, it'll go to an isometric view. You can see the UCS and the coordinates down here. Also the view cube here switched over. If I click on the little plus sign next to origin, I can go and click on the planes and show me the X, Y, Z planes and axes. I can also see exactly where the origin is. I can go into manage. Um, let's see a couple different settings. If I go to tools, I have document settings here now. So if I click on that and I go to units, this is where I change if it's inches or millimeters or whatever here. Um, that doesn't mean I'm tied to whatever that is. I can always put it in a different unit in the measurements. So if I go back to model, I can see this. Um, see my work features here. Um, creating a sketch, different features all the way across. Patterns, um, things like that. The help is up here. Um, and that's the basics of Inventor.